All right, so Amelia, obviously, uh, first regional title ever for you guys. What was it like just getting that last out and securing that trophy? It was honestly amazing knowing that my defense had my back and that they were just going to be able to get the ball and get an out for me and just, like, felt relaxed. And it was intense the whole time, but it felt amazing to get that last out. I had so much fun that game. And you mentioned the defense having your back. Obviously, you pitched, I think, the last few games. Obviously, wonderful performances by you, but talk about the defense that's been backing you throughout this whole moment. They have been doing amazing. The outfield catches that they have made has, honestly, they have me screaming from the top of my lungs, and hopefully they can hear me. And, like, my infield, they have my back. They know how to just talk to me. They give me things forward. They just know how to talk and, like, know how to support me and like we got your back relax don't worry and like I know how to calm them down and be like hey if you make a mistake don't worry about it. Securing that regional title just as a sophomore to lead this team what was that like for you? Um, Honestly it was pretty amazing wouldn't have expected it to come anytime soon or ever so it was pretty amazing. I think you guys started the season eight and eight you guys won your last three regular season and then you went on to get shutout wins in the postseason. Talk about the change from the first game of the season to now. Um, honestly, the first game of the season, we weren't really a team. But like this, like now looking at us, we have bonded so much and we have changed a lot. Our attitude has changed. The intensity of how we're playing has changed. Everything has like. Okay. Just, just a sophomore stepping up into this role, what is it like just kind of carrying that weight as a leader? It's kind of scary, honestly, but I just know that great support system all around, everywhere, great coaches, great fam like family members to cheer me on. Like It's just amazing knowing and a little nerve-wracking, but just relax the whole time. I think to be completely honest, a lot of people counted you guys as the underdogs going into this game. But talk about the tenacity, the, just the, the fight that you guys have. We had so much fight. We were like, we're not going down without a fight. We knew that we had to be on our toes, intense the whole time, have to win every inning or at least hold them. It was crazy. History, hist or historic season from here on out, no matter what happens. You guys looking for another semi-state trophy and then possibly a state trophy. Just what is the energy like? Obviously, you guys are loose and relaxed. What's the energy been like this past couple days? Um, honestly, loud, energetic. Everybody has been loud and amazing and knowing how to cheer each other on with their energy and bringing it like to each other and knowing how to get people up and, and ooh, encouraging them. MVP is obviously based on the skills on on the circle or in the circle and on the diamond. But as a leader, what's kind of your mindset on and off the field? Honestly, just be a good role model in my mind. I try to just do good, look good, like just make sure everything's all good. <laughs> <laughs> Semi-state coming up, semi-state semifinals coming up Saturday. What's kind of your mentality? Um, just. I have my I have my defense, I have my offense, they're doing amazing having my back, I'm relaxed. So looking forward, excited. Last question for you, this program this year has opened a lot of eyes. What do you want the people to know outside about this program this year? This program is amazing. These girls are amazing with being able to encourage each other. The coaches know how to pick each other up. We know how to talk to each other and just a great support system all around.